Hey there! In this video, we'll be installing Codex and setting up our working environment. Now, because Codex itself is a tool that allows us to view and edit code-based projects, there are a number of underlying technologies that we first need to install. We'll go through those step by step to show you exactly how it's done. In this video, I will be demoing uh, these installation on a Windows environment, but we also have another video where you can see exactly how it's done on Mac. You can find a link to that video in the description. In the description, you'll also find links to all of the tools that we'll be installing so that you can easily find them. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we'll be installing is Git. Uh, Git is a version control system. It is how most developers manage their code bases. It allows you to create isolated branches to work on, uh, to create your changes in commits, um, to bundle them together, to add your descriptions, to go through review processes, all sorts of things like that. Codex is fully integrated to Git, and so we will proceed to install it. Here we can see the Git homepage, gitscm.com, and we'll go over to the download section and download the installer for Windows, which is what I'm running in this case. I'll take the 64-bit version. It'll quickly download, and once it finishes, we can launch it. Now, we'll proceed through the steps of the installer. This has really good uh, default options, so we're not going to need to change anything really uh, for it to work. You can go through these to make sure that everything seems appropriate, uh, but really just hitting next in this case does the trick. So we'll proceed all the way through and then let it finish install. I will choose not to restart my computer right now, but could do so at a later time. With that, our installation is complete and successful. Our next prerequisite is Node, Node.js. And Node is a JavaScript runtime environment, meaning it is an application that is actually able to run and process JavaScript files. And since all of our applications and components at the end of the day use JavaScript to run on the web, we need this to be installed for Codex to use behind the scenes. In this case, uh, we're already on the Node homepage, nodejs.org, and we will choose to download the version 20.11.1, which is the LTS, the long-term support version of Node, the stable version, uh, and so that is what we'll do. I click on that, and quickly we can see that it downloads, and I'll proceed to install it. Once more, this is a case of an installer that has really good defaults uh, set to it, so it'll ask me for all of these, but they are all great and fine, and I can just continue and let it install. Fantastic. With that, Node has successfully been installed. And with that, our prerequisites are installed, and we can proceed to actually install Codex itself. So first, we'll need to download that. Well, here we are at the Codex homepage, codex.com, and we'll click the Download Codex button. This will bring us over to our download page, and here we can see uh, available versions for different operating systems. In this case, once more, I will select the one for Windows and that will immediately start running. Once it finishes, we'll set it to launch. And here we are greeted by the Codex installer. Once more, I'll proceed with the default options to let it install. And with that, we have successfully installed Codex, and all that's left is to actually run it for the first time. Now, we've opened Codex up, and it is asking us to log in. In this case, we are using a Wix account, so if you already have one, you can simply log in using that. And if you have yet to create one, you can click the Sign Up button and create a brand new account for yourself. I'll be logging in. Now, we can see the Codex Project Picker for the first time. But before explaining any of that, we want to make sure that we are also signing into GitHub. Now, GitHub is a Git provider. It's a service that offers Git uh, capabilities. In this case, it is the most common one and the one that most developers around the world use. It is a place where you can host your code projects and send your changes and pull your changes in a safe and effective manner. In order to sign in, I'll simply click this Login button. This brings us over to the login page. Now, if you already have a GitHub account, you can simply enter that here to sign in. Or if you've yet to create one, you can follow the instructions here to create a new account. 
Now that I've logged into GitHub, I can click at the top right here on the user menu to show that I'm logged into both my Wix account and into my GitHub account. And with that, we are logged in and ready to go. In case you're having difficulties following these steps or something doesn't make sense, I would suggest as a first step trying to restart your machine. We've installed a lot of different tools and sometimes that can create hiccups. If after that, things still don't make sense, come talk to us. You can either reach out through our help center at help.codex.com or you can join our ever-growing Discord community where you can find like-minded fellow users or talk to us. In the next video, we'll be setting up our YUM project for the first time. See you there.